everyone and welcome to another technical video from Default UK. My name is Rich and uh, today we're going to be discussing RIP and just some basic uh, ways of manipulating the best path. Alright, so let's just cover off RIP a little bit. So we all understand uh, RIP is a, a distance vector protocol, so it just talks about metric in terms of hop count, right? And um, it goes from 0 to 15 uh, and 16 is unreachable, right? So, um, on on our topology diagram here, we've got four routers, R1, 2, 3, and 4. We're going to go and manipulate traffic that's going from R1 to R4. So, because RIP's a distance vector protocol, you'll know that it's going to have a hop count of 2 to get to R4, right? So, it's going to go from R1 to R2, which is one count, and R2 to R4, which is another hop, all right? So, first hop, second hop. And likewise, from via R3, we're going to go from R1 to R3, one hop, and then R3 to R4, two hops. So it doesn't matter which way we go, whether it's via R2 or R3, um, we get two hops. All right. So that's going to be the key. So on R1, we should see two routes to R4s. We'll put loopback interface zero in to the uh, RIP process here. So R1 will see loopback interface uh, R4s loopback interface in its routing table 4.4.4.4. .4 .4 .4. Um, or oh, in fact it was 0 slash 24 we'll see that in the R1's routing table and we'll see it via R2 and R3 with the same hop count All right. so we went through that before so two hops there, two hops there, so it will be equally weighted here so there will be two ways to it now looking at our diagram here, we've got, two, we've got fast ethernet at the top and we've got serial um, 64k on the bottom All right. and um, obviously fast ethernet is better All right. so we want to preference the fast ethernet over the uh, serial link so we're going to use an offset list to do this and the offset list, all that does is it adds um, metric, it adds uh, hop count to the RIP process. So what we'll do is we'll manipulate RIP so that it sees the serial interface as, let's say, five hops away, even though it's not, it's only two. We'll say this way is five hops away, this way is, we'll keep that default as it, as it is with two hops, and it should preference traffic over this way because it's only two hops away. Uh, but what all we're doing really is manipulating RIP so that it thinks that the way through R3 is way more hops. Okay, so without further ado, let's crack on. Um, everything's already configured, all the way back in phases is done. The um, the interfaces between each device is, is on this diagram here, so R1 to R2, look at the third octet there, we've got R1 to R2, just to give you uh, some, some ease of understanding. So 10.1.12.0 is the network between R1 and R2, and then again R2 to R4 is 24, uh, 3 to 4 is 34, 1 to 3 is 13, and then each device has got a um, an IP address in that based on its host name. So 10.1.12.1 uh, is R1, 10.1.12.2 is R2 on that subnet, and then um, we've got here 10.1.24.0 where dot .2 is R2 and dot .4 is R4 and so on and so forth. All right, so everything's already really configured. Loopback interface is configured, everything ready to go. And I've also configured RIP on each of these uh, devices already. Uh, we're running version 2 and um, we're, we've got auto summary summarization turned off. Okay, so let's just configure R1 then. Let's, uh, let's jump in here. Let me just look at the uh, root table right now. Shouldn't be anything in there. Ah, oh, idiot. Haven't turned R. Should have really taken this out before. Just to prove it out. Okay, so no rip. Let's do it from scratch. All right, so uh, yeah, I ran through this once. Silly me. So we'll run version two. Uh, we'll turn auto summary off, and we're going to configure for network one dot one dot one dot one. Right, which is the um, <coughs> which is the loopback interface, and we're going to configure for ten dot one dot twelve dot zero and ten dot one dot thirteen dot zero. Right. Okay. Now, so the way I've written that out, you'll be surprised to, or not surprised to, if you uh, if you know about RIP already, to know that you don't need to type out this this full uh, this full IP address here. What what RIP, what RIP will do is it'll convert that IP address into the classful network all by itself. So you do not need to type that in. In fact, we'll just print that out. So let's just do a show run section RIP. There we go. So we typed in network 1.1.1.1. You can see here we've got network 1. And then we typed in two network statements for 10.1.12 and 10.1.13, which were these two links off R1 to R2 and R1 to R3. And it's just um, it's just putting 10.000. Right. So it just converts it from whatever you type in here to the classful network. When it sends the update out, 
when it sends the rip uh, information out, it uses the subnet mask of the uh, network interface that it's that you've got configured on your on your router to, uh, as the network mask. All right, so it doesn't need it knows it that way. All right, so we've got rip running. Let's have a look at the um, root table now. This should be as it was when we first started. Sorry, my mistake there. Okay, so we've got three um, loopbacks in there. Our two's loopback, our three's loopback, and our four's loopback. And as we said before, we've got two routes to R4, one via R2 and the fast Ethernet interface, and one via R3 and the serial interface. You can see the administrative distance for RIP is 120. That's the default. You can change that with the distance command, and we can go through that, but there's probably not much need. Um, in fact, if you want to understand the distance command, have a look at our other videos, um, especially the one on redistribution. That'll give you some ideas about how to use that. Um, and then the second, the second number there after the slash is the uh, hop count. So as we predicted, R4's loopback interface there is two hops away, both via R2 and via R3. So we're going to we're going to we're going to manipulate that, and we want to we don't want to manipulate it so that the one through serial one zero goes from a two to a five, and basically falls out of the routing table. So we still get the backup. We still have the we will prioritize this. We'll make this the back the backup. All right. So we've still got two links. We're not load balancing. We're not sending one packet one way, one packet the other. We're just going to have this one as the preferred link, and then in case that one breaks, we'll be able to fail over to this one. So all we're going to do is increase the hop count. We're not going to kill it off. All right. Actually, we'll come back to that later. <clears throat> All right. So um, let, we're just going to use an offset list for this. So the offset list needs uh, an access list to, to match the traffic. So we want to match uh, network 4440 coming in on serial 10 and then add a hop count to it, right? We don't want to add hop count to uh, the one coming through the fast Ethernet 0. We want to leave that at the default, which is two hops away. All right. So we want to match 4440. So let's do that first. So I'm going to use a standard access list. We're going to use one because it's uh, the easiest. And we'll permit host. I know it's a network, but um, you you you, you want to match this IP. You want to match this IP address, right? I know it's a network address. That's absolutely fine. But you want to match that. So if you want to specifically match that, use the host. Or we could use the, um, the the old zero 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 zero, which is basically the wildcard mask for absolutely, 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 absolutely. Yeah. So um, normally. Uh, the normal mask would be 255.255.255.0 sort of thing, yeah? But in an, when you're configuring an access list, use the uh, wildcard mask. If you do a question mark there, you'll see it. Wildcard bits. And these are basically the inverse of what you thought they were when you had the full mask, all right? So um, we're going to say match, 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 match. If we if we did match, 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 don't care, which is the 255, we, we could be basi we're basically saying match four, match four, match four, and then this could be anything. So if you had a, a multi, if you were trying to match a multiple of network interfaces, uh, sorry, network addresses, you could use wildcard mask to match um, more than one network statement. In our case, we want to match exactly four 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 zero. So we're going to use the all zeros or the host keyword. Okay, and then we hop into the root uh, process and we use the offset keyword. I'll just do question marks to show you what what configuration types you can have in here, and you can see that there are two access list types there or you can use the uh, an access list name but they're both standard access list so 0 to 99 or 1300 to 1999 are access lists uh, standard access list ranges so we configured standard access list 1 so we're going to use offset, offset 1 to match access list 1 and then you can see a, a direction so you can add metric outbound as well as add metric inbound but we're adding metric inbound or because we were on R1 and then you say how much you want to offset it now we know that R4's loopback four loopback zero interface sorry was two hops away and we wanted to make it five so we want to add a, met a metric of three okay so we're going to add three to two to make five and then we say which interface it's being learned from and we know that we we want to add the metric inbound from R3 which was on serial interface one uh, slash zero and that's all we need to do so now if we have a look at the routing table we should see uh, I've got the two routes there so let me uh, Let's wait for this to update. <coughs> there we go. So you can see now that the uh, the route to through the serial one interface now has has has, has aged out, and we've only got the fast Ethernet zero route in the routing table. And that's it. So we've offset the um, 
that that route from loopback uh, zero from R4 by adding three hops of metric to it. And I tell you what, we can prove this out that it still fails over by taking out the um, fast Ethernet interface. Let's, sorry, let's just shut that down. Not no shut, idiot. Let's just shut that down. Uh, let's just do a debug IP rip. We should see uh, some. There we go. Okay, so we've seen an update straight away. That uh, in fact, it's just it's telling itself because we've shut the interface. It knows that it can't get through that uh, that network anymore. So it's basically aged that out and made that inaccessible. You can see the 16 hops thing there as well, which is quite neat. All right, so remember I said 16 hops means inaccessible. Yeah. Um, it's now sending updates out to everywhere else that it knows. What we should see is that route four is five hops away now through the um, through R three and uh, and it, it is there it is there so okay so we've we've killed the uh, the the route through R two and um, it's already succeeded um, the route the route through R three with um, magic hop count of uh, five okay so there you go so that's offset lists I hope you've enjoyed it today um, certainly it was a very quick one and I apologise for the uh, for the brevity, but if you've got any questions, fire me an email, or go on the website and drop in a comment, uh, or see you on Twitter. Uh, thanks very much for your attention, and good luck with your studies. Cheers, bye. Hi everyone. There was one final thing actually before we um, before we commit this one to the uh, to the YouTube, and that was making the route inaccessible. Do you remember earlier on in the video we were talking about how to make it 16 hops and make it inaccessible? Um, one, one, one question you may receive, may see, uh, it's quite a sneaky one, is um, how would you affect rips so that, and it may be worded slightly differently than my poor, poorly worded question, but uh, how would you stop rip um, putting a, a route into the routing table? So you might use things like filter lists or distribute lists to stop the, the route being added to the routing table, stop them coming in or, or going out of rip, whatever. Um, but one... one uh, one question may say, do not use. Yeah, so you're not allowed to use filter lists or distribute lists. So how would you do it otherwise? And one way to do it is to use an offset list and basically make the rip route so poor that it becomes inaccessible. Yeah. So what you would do there is, um, and I'll, I'll I'll just run through it very quickly now, but it it bears no uh, representation to re to reality. So offset list one in, which is what we did before, and we offset by three to make it hop count five because it had 2 and we added 3 to it. So to make it 16, we'd add 14 to 2 and make 16, make it inaccessible. So we'd say offset list 1 in 14 and then you give it the serial interface. Yeah. So now anything coming in through that serial interface would automatically be incremented to a hop count of 16 which would make it inaccessible. All right. So if you ever see a question about that anywhere, that's a nice little trick to use um, an offset list to stop a route getting put into a routing table just by making it inaccessible. So uh, thanks for waiting around, and I hope that added a little bit more value to uh, today's video. Thank you very much. Bye now.